I just love watching these pelicans fly, man. Always reminds me of like Jurassic Park. What is good? What is good, all my real ones? Welcome back to another It Gets Real Adventure. It's your boy, B the Flossy Fisherman. And today, we're in Half Moon Bay, California at Montara Beach. First time at this beach. And man, crazy little pathway to get here. But yeah, back at it, man. Been down for two weeks. I don't know if, uh, you know, most of you guys are following me on um, Instagram, but yeah, man, I caught COVID. Uh, so it's been no fishing for me for like the past two weeks. Um, thank God that I, I made it through it. Yeah, buddy, look at that right there. Woo. So yeah, man, try to go after some surf perch. Uh, didn't bring my crab, my sand crab net. So probably just be using um, some of the deep sea bait co worms right there sandworms and be using some of the Berkeley sandworms. I do have some of my Lucky Craft lures. Uh, we'll just see how it do, man. See what it do, see how it all plays out. Y'all keep it locked, man, and see if your boy can't hook up on something. Woke up in the morning around 6 o'clock Hop up in the whip and hit the bank shot Gotta make it quick, no time to waste But I gotta stock up on where I'm cooked and waste Pull up to the lake trying to find a spot This brain said they biting by the duck If you ever been fishing, then you know the deal Sit back, relax, cause man, it gets real out going tide right now. On the apps that I use, they say it's popping right now. This is the time to be out here. See a fisherman down the way. Thought he had something, but I think he's doing some bait and wait. Yeah, man, I'm looking at the layout of the land. I'm about to get the casting. Oh, would y'all look at that? I just simply scooped up some sand crabs and uh boom what do we have here a soft shell i just used my hand no net and end up with a soft shell whoa i had a crab on man it's not crab season yet <laughs> female Oh, no claws. That's messed up. Female Dungeness. Even though these aren't the pinchers, these claws, man, they're pretty sharp. You're supposed to just grab them by the back too. Like so. That's how you handle a crab. This hook went into freaking crab leg. Push it on out. There we go. Go make some babies. Crab season is right around the corner, so uh, that's not the first time that's happened to me. So I think um, crab season is gonna look pretty promising. I have yet to catch a surf perch, a striper, any of those two off a of soft shell. Hopefully today could change that for me. Come on, come on. PB surf perch, first striper off the coast, surf, something. Caught a jack smelt off the surf, off a of sand crab before, but I ain't really too interested in that. Well, as I suspected, my uh, sand crab got taken. They ate that mug up, man. I got bit a couple times wasn't enough to set the hook but he robbed me so i'm gonna go try to find me another one hopefully i get lucky i see you there's a chunky one oh looking for the soft shells looking for the soft shells 
these are that's the one i thought that was soft this one is soft one soft shell heck yeah Oop. oh no 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 dang it awesome just like that well look at all these guys Hopefully I got one somewhere. Woo, that's a huge one. Kind of saw. Yeah. It's a big boy. All right. Well, the bigger the bait, the bigger the fish. Hopefully. Hopefully that hooks something, man. I felt like there was a hole right there where I got bit last time. Oh, those bites. That was some bites. Oh, see, getting bit. No, there's a hole right out there. Come on, come on. Get at that sand crab. And I might have tore that thing up. Yep, and he gone. He gone. I think I managed to get one, y'all. Yep. Woo. Okay. That feels good. Oh, these waves. Come on. Come on. Yeah. First one on the sand crab, baby. Woo. Yeah. And a nice one. That's what I'm talking about, dog. Probably about a 13 PB. Soft shell sand crab. Many times as I've been out here, finally paid off. Heck yeah, look at that slab. Barred surf perch, baby. Woo! You know I'm juiced about this one, y'all. You know I'm juiced about this one. About 13 inches right here. Ha <laughs> ha! First one on the sand crab. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna dig up some more sand crabs. Now, how to catch sand crabs when you don't have a net got to be quick look at all of them right here look at all them sand crabs but i'm looking for the bigger ones the bigger ones tend to be a little bit closer to the waves so you just got to be fast scoop and go so that's my little method uh no soft shells on that scoop gotta go back again good lord must be incoming tide now uh, try to get a handful Soft shells, though. Oh, one. Got one soft shell. Try to do another little scoop. Let's see, let's see. on that scoop either sheesh Woo. oh didn't get up far enough man i felt like there was one or two in there dang it yeah 
it is quite the workout but as you can see if you manage to get a good pool oh soft shell yes these soft shell crabs are quite the delicate delicacy for these fish and yeah it is ideal to have a crab net or sand crab scooper it is helpful to have one but if you don't you can always do this and it does pay off nice little combo right here that i reeled up sand crab and a sand worm make this uh hook exposed yeah we're gonna rock just like that i reeled this sand crab in so let's see how they like that Well, surprisingly, no bites on the camo worm. Ain't that something? But I guess it's not that surprising when you see how many um, soft shell sand crabs are getting washed out with the tide, man. It's not that surprising that, you know, this is not a, as effective as the sand crab. So I guess I'll be going back to the sand crab about an hour and a half or about an hour away from when they say the bite time is good so out here just sticking it out seeing if that bite picks back up i've gotten robbed man a couple of times now, that's the only thing about them soft shells a couple of bites and it's gone the rule of thumb is Bigger bait, bigger fish, bigger hook, bigger fish. So if y'all wondering why I haven't downsized to a smaller hook is because I don't want to deal with small fish. But I think that's just what's been ripping these soft shells right off of my hook. Oh, is this a little guy? No very nice size uh soft shell right there and the soft shells tend to be at the top that's why i'm able just to sweep my feet a little bit over the sand and uh you'll see them if they're there Right here, soft shell. Right there, soft shell. Right here, soft shell. Right, nope, that wasn't one. But see, I got four right there, just kicking the sand around. Oh, that's a good one. I got five. Just like that. Let's see. I'm trying to catch. Not get robbed. I knew it. I knew it. The smallest little perch ever. Well, there it is, y'all. Another day on the surf. Hey, all I can say is I'm juiced that I finally caught a surf perch off a of sand crab. Oh, man. If y'all been following me for some time, y'all know I've been trying to check that off my list for a while now hoping maybe i could get a striper to bite but from what i hear on the coast man uh the striper run has been a little little low man so 
hey that didn't happen but still something to scratch off my list overall man i'm just happy and juiced to be back out here like i mentioned man i caught covid so i've been out for two weeks and after today we're starting to see some rain in the forecast so i wanted to get out here before the rain came and um i mean although we do need it in california i ain't mad at that man all of our creeks are dried up and you know everything is low so yeah we need the rain i ain't mad at that but it does kind of put a, a stint in my fishing activities so i had to come out here and get it in today and man i can't be mad at it you know caught a couple of perch and the dungeness crab i'm back out here i'm fishing i'm 100 percent again i just thank god man that i'm able to get out here and do what i love still you know but uh that's gonna conclude this episode of it gets real yep so if you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can be notified man for the next drop and um if you're not following me on instagram follow me at it gets real fishing on instagram and facebook to just stay updated on what we got going on last but not least hop on to itgetsreal.com and you can purchase some of this merch you see yep the hoodies the beanies the face mask and we got so much more man on itgetsreal.com the freshest fishing apparel for real language yes sir but till the next time y'all be cool y'all be blessed peace little razor sharp teeth so they could tear your stuff apart man oh is the seagull gonna get them will the wave save all oh, the seagull got them